40 years, but a baby found dead in coastal Mississippi now has a new headstone with her name on it. Yeah, the 18 month old was given the name Delta Dawn after she was found in the swamps of the Escatapa River back in 1982. A few months ago, investigators finally identified her as Alicia Heinrich from Missouri, thanks to some hard work. There was a ceremony today at her grave site for that new marker. Shelby Myers was there and Shelby, you say this really means a lot to some of the dedicated investigators. Yeah, it really does. Lenise and Byron, they've been able to see this case through from finding the baby's body in the swamp 38 years ago to identifying her seven months ago and today giving her the proper headstone. I spoke to one retired Jackson County deputy who's been praying he would live to see this day. I said from day one, you know, that, that I prayed that I would live long enough to find out who she was. And I said, once I know who she is, if I ever do, I said, then I will put a new marker down with her real name, her date of birth and everything on it, which I did. A special day for retired Jackson County Deputy Virgil Moore. He was with a crew who found a lifeless baby in the Escatapa River in 1982. When no one claimed the child, Moore gave the baby Jane Doe a funeral and paid to put this marker on her grave. I didn't want that doe on there. I said, just baby Jane known only to God, which that will tell you there. She was known only to God for many years. As decades passed and no one ever claimed the child, the case haunted him. In 2009, it was Moore who asked to exhume the baby's body for DNA testing. We have identified them both. The moment he prayed for, this past December, baby Jane, or Delta Dawn as she had been lovingly called, was identified. Investigators say through a genealogy report, the baby's DNA matched to a family in Missouri. The 18-month-old child was Alicia Ann Heinrich. Today, the headstone Moore bought for her upgraded to this one. On it, Alicia's real name. They called me and I went to look at it. When I looked at it the first time, I, I, had, I couldn't hold it back. It, it got me. From online sleuths to the faithful investigators in the Jackson County Sheriff's Department, everyone in Pascagoula and beyond wanted this case solved, and they wanted it bad. This case was solved and, and powered with so much love by Pascagoula, by everybody involved, and it's just amazing to see. University of South Alabama junior Olivia McCarter did too. It was her work with a forensic research service that finally connected the dots. It is really bittersweet. I'm used to working on cases and they don't have any family anymore and uh, nobody really cares about them, but it's the complete opposite with Alicia. Complete opposite. She's got family in Pascagoula who have always been her family and then she's got her real family. And as Olivia and Moore both pointed out to me today, this case is not over. It's still a mystery, mystery how Alicia died. Her mother, Gwendolyn Clements, also went missing in 1982 and has never been found. A person of interest in this case, I'm told, did die. Still, Jackson County investigators say they will not stop until they figure out what happened to this mother and daughter. Lenise.